Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. Welcome back to a very special video today. I just want to say thank you everybody first who's been supporting the channel. The reason why this video is so special, as you can see, we are in Nyalotha, the walking city, the last raid in the Battle for Azeroth expansion. Guys, this is this is awesome. Like we are making history here. I'm gonna show you how to break out of Nyalotha, the walking city. I have never seen another video on this, so I'm hoping to be the first out of bounds video on YouTube with doing this glitch. Now we are making history, my friends, <laughs> on ATN. This is very exciting. So guys, welcome to another ATN video. As always, my name is Nathan. We are in Nyalotha, the walking city, obviously. And uh, I just wanted to say before we begin, this is going to be a longer video because it's a very special video. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to explore a lot of the surrounding area. I got to tell you guys, there's a lot to see. This map is very cool aesthetically. Uh, it is just really awesome to see and to walk around. There's a lot of lava to, to traverse. So unfortunately, we have to go through a lot of lava. But if you guys can stick around and watch the whole video, that would mean the world to me. Uh, there's going to be a lot to sue. I don't want to have to do a part two if I don't have to. If the video gets too long and there's still a lot more to see, I will do a part two. So anyways, guys, let's jump right into it. Now, how to get out of Nyalotha, the walking city? Well, there is a certain very, very, very simple glitch that Blizzard overlooked when they made this map. That right over here in the entrance to Viziana and Dark Inquisitor Zanesh. Um, if, before you enter the ritual chamber, there is a, a pathway underneath the stairs here. Right? So you, I, you guys kind of get a glimpse of where I'm at. You come through right over here. You walk across a little bridge. Well, right under the stairs and the entrance here, there is a place that you can glitch under. So I'm going to show you how to do it. All you want to do is jump down here. Go straight down here. And you should be out. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Oh, I think I went too far up. That's why. <laughs> all right, there we go. We're out. We're officially out. <laughs> all right, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, all right, there you go. So you, you can break out right underneath here. And there you go. Now you have full access to getting out of bounds of Naya Lotha, the walking city. How awesome is this, guys? This is going to be a lot of fun to show off. And we're also doing a new mount today. We're not doing the other mount for once. So I'm going to be riding this around. Now immediately when you come out, you're going to be noticing, look at, you're inside the building already. How cool is this, guys? Guys, this is going to be an awesome raid to show off. I mean, there's a lot of cool things uh, to see and just a lot of cool things to look at. So I'm very excited. Uh, so let's let's get going. Now, if you come out here, don't have to worry about death walls for now. Um, I have not found any DC or death walls yet coming out here. The only time you will hit death walls or DC walls is if you go into the abyss, obviously, which is falling off the edge of the map or stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way out this way. And I'm going to give you guys a good look at kind of the backside of this dungeon here or this raid, I should say. There is just such a cool vibe in this place. Like, this is... You don't get any type of raid other than... Like, this is a very unique raid, in my opinion. And I just love the uh, the backdrops, the, the skyboxes, everything in this raid. Now, I will be honest with you guys. I might edit this video some parts because there is a lot of walking and a lot of climbing to do. I don't want to have you guys to watch... You know, have you guys watch me do all of that, so... But what we're going to do is we're going to jump out and we're going to make our way this way. And I'm going to give you guys some cool shots of the area while I'm flying down here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to climb up this very cool looking lava path. Now, as you guys can see, there is a lot of aesthetics out here that you can see normally. But a lot of this is just smoke and mirrors on Blizzard's part, which they did a really great job. If you guys remember the mother load video, they kind of used the same volcano looking, like volcano lava looking texture out there as well. 
So if you come out here, there is no lava, obviously. This is just fake volcano and ash. And we're going to make our way up the, uh, the hill here. And when we get up here, we're going to want to get on top of the mountain up this way, because if you go right, we will, so we're actually going to be ending the video going right later. Uh, that's going to be the final thing we do, because when you go right, you can actually go back to the beginning area of the map, which I'm going to be showing you how to get there. Uh, so the first place that you start when you fight, um, gosh, I can't even think of his name right now. Oh, Raytheon. When you fight Raytheon, uh, you remember the first beginning room you start in, you have Azeroth in the background with the teared portal open. You can actually get back there, and I'm going to show you how. That's going to be the last part of the video. But what we're going to do is we're going to make our way up the mountain here. So we're going to go out this way. And uh, we're going to jump up here and up here. And we're going to make our way up this way. And then we should be able to just fell rush up the mountain here, like Uncle Rico would say. Is our fell rush back? It is. There we go. And we're just going to make our way up here. Now, the reason we want to get up here is because it's pretty much flat surface. There will be a lot of drops. And we're going to make our way out this way. Now, I'm going to give you guys a cool view of all of over here. As you can see, there's a lot of, lot of mountain terrain out here and just the skybox in this place is incredible I mean look at that there is nowhere on World of Warcraft can you see something like this look at this it's just so cool out here All right, let's start heading up this way. We're going to go up the mountain with the lava going on here. We're just going to keep swimming. Now, I, I never thought I'd break out. Now, I will, I'll be honest with you guys. Trying to break out of this place was a pain. Uh, there is a ton of death walls like anywhere you drop down on the map except for that one place that I showed you is all death walls so we're gonna make our way up this way now also another thing about this raid that is not really fun to traverse is the there is a lot of lava so we're actually gonna make our way we're gonna start with the right side uh, and then we'll come back and loop around to the left I've actually never been completely on the right side yet so we're gonna make our way out this way now there's not gonna be too much to see out here on the right as we go along the edge here I'll be honest with you um, I l hope you guys can get a good glimpse of all the smoke and mirrors that Blizzard uses in the back here with these giant carved out mountains and lava supposedly is supposed to be. And as you look down here, you can kind of get a uh, glimpse into the abyss down there. Now this right here, I'm going to point out, is actually beginning the Annex Prophecy, where you first come into the raid, right? So that is all right here. That's where it's built. Completely right here. It's huge. And you can actually fly into there, and we're going to be doing that later at the end of the video, so... We're going to make our way out this way. All right. We're going to keep going here. I'm just trying to move the camera around as much as I can to give you guys the type of feel that's out here. The sky boxes are just incredible. We're just going to go along the edge here. As we make our way above the abyss here. And you can look into the unknown. I will admit though, Blizzard did do a great job at hiding this place. They covered it up with a lot of smoke and mirrors, so good on them. 
Now, I'll be honest with you as well. I have never actually been out this way on the right side yet. So I don't know if we're going to run into any death walls or not out here. I guess we're just going to have to find out together. All right, we officially made it on the other side, so that's good. All right, guys, I'm going to swim across this, and then I'll be right back because this is uh, a lot to traverse here and walk across, so give me one second. All right, and we are back. So I wanted to give you guys a cool back shot over here, looking on the back side of the map here. So as you remember, we came out right over here. So that is what we're looking at, the Annex of Prophecy right over there. That's the entrance we came out of. And as you can tell, the Annex of Prophecy is all down here, which we're going to be getting to later, like I said. And we're going to continue and make our way out this way. But we're just going to keep swimming. Or keep moving along here. And if we come out this way, you're going to see a lot of lava. Look at that. Look, at there's some beam of light going on down there. You guys see that right there? I don't know what that is, but it keeps appearing on my screen. Maybe we can go fly down there and check out what it is. But the problem is if we go down there... Then we're kind of stuck. <laughs> so that's why I want to save that for the ending of the video. And give you guys the uh, whole backside first. Now, as we're going along here, I just want to say thank you to everybody. If you could, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Join the ATN Discord. It helps out a lot. And I love meeting new people. We're building a huge oob community in there it's been so much fun to meet new people and just hanging out almost every day made some amazing new friends in there and i would love to meet you as well so if you haven't joined the atn discord i highly recommend you do um and uh yeah i just want to say thank you guys we're almost to 5,000 subscribers which is just amazing to me and uh i can't wait to get to 5,000. like that's that blows my mind that we would even be close to 5,000 subscribers. You know, I never thought in my life we'd be doing that. So, but anyways, guys, I'm going to continue walking across. Oh, actually, I think we made it to the end here. I was going to say. Now. One of the only problems we have here. Is I don't think we can go further because. We're going to get stuck with lava here. I think that is all lava here, but what we can try to go do is we can go completely fly out here and let's go take a look and see how far we can get. All right, let's go take a look. We're probably going to die out here, but that's okay. I want to see how far we can get out here anyways. If we end up dying, I'll, we'll cut the video and I'll pick back up where we left off. But let's go fly out here and see what happens. I mean, what cooler backdrop do you get as a demon hunter flying out here? Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? You guys got to come check this place out, like, OOB wise. All right, we're going to keep going out here. So far, we're doing good. I do see a platform in the distance, which is a really good sign. So we might actually make this, honestly. How are we doing on Fell Rush? So we're back up. Let's keep using them. Oh, Ventral Retreat's not up. Oh, man, I hope we didn't just mess with ourselves. Oh, Ventral Retreat is up. Okay, so far, we're doing good. I think we need to use our Fell Rushes again. All right. Wow, we're actually just going to barely make it. Look at that. Mmm. Beautiful. We made it across. I did, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, I did not think we were going to make it. 
All right, let's keep making our way out this way. And let's go take a look and see what we could find. Now, this is very exciting. I've never been on this side of the map yet. I've been wanting to see what's out here. I've also been wanting to see if um, we can find the final boss room. Where you actually fight Nazoth. <laughs> a couple of uh, my friends in the Discord, they kept making... Uh, they were we were just laughing because uh, they were making fun of me because uh, <laughs> I was saying Cthune and not Nazoth on the final boss here and they're like you know you're saying you know I was like yeah what's wrong with that <laughs> but I didn't realize what I was saying until they actually mentioned it so it's not Cthune it's Nazoth you fight out here <laughs> all right so far we're just in a bunch of gray space sorry guys I know this isn't the most Funnest OB video. Oh, we hit a death wall. Wow. Look at that. Our first death wall. Okay. Interesting. So we cannot go this way. All right, guys. I'm going to cut the video right here because I got to go back out and uh, I'm going to pick back up here in a minute. All right. So give me a second. All right, guys. We are officially back again and we are back under the map. We're going to go take a look at the left side now. The right side wasn't too great to see, too adventurous, right? But we're going to go take a look out this way. Look at this red beam of, like this red orb just sitting out here. Look at that. It's kind of a trip, huh? I think it's kind of, kind of freaky looking. I'm gonna get another look at one of uh, Nazoth's tentacles out here, and we're falling. Can we go back? Woo! Okay. Gotta be careful where we're walking. Look at this thing. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go make our way to the left side now. So we're gonna go climb back over the mountain again, and I'm gonna go show you guys what's over there. Because there is some really cool, like, blue-looking effect out there that you don't... Like, it's like a blue-yellowish texture that you don't normally see outside of the maps. Uh, so it is a little different when it comes to being textured. But we're going to climb back up this way again. And we're going to head back up the mountains. Now, like I told you guys, there is a lot to cover out here. Because this is just the, uh, you know, the second part now. The third part will be jumping into the Sea of the Abyss to end the map. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get back up here again. So we're going to head out this way. And I think it's actually easier if we go out this way. What we're going to do... We're going to make our way up the mountain again. Oh, and we failed. I don't think we got up high enough is the problem. There we go. We need to be right here. So let's wait for our second foul rush. And then let's jump. Double jump. Glide. Oh, there we go. We didn't even need the second fell rush. Look at that. But I think we accidentally pressed it anyways. But we're going to keep making our way up here. Going this way. Alright, we're going to hide the hut again. If I can give you guys the cool view. Alright. So let's go make our way. Now look at this. So there is like this rock blue textured formation out here. That I've never actually seen in another instance or dungeon or raid before outside the map which is very 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 unique blue texture color out here the only other time i think i saw it was actually outside of deep home which might have been the only other time which that would actually make sense because deep home seems like the place that would actually have that but if you guys look at this just love the cool man just the lava and everything looks awesome and i wonder if we can actually fly over there 
and get on top of there. Should we try it? Because if we drop... Well, let's make our way up this way first. So let's go do this. And you can see more of the blue, more of the rock, more of the texture out here on the other side. There it goes. Now it's kind of coming down the whole back wall here. Look at that. Now you do got a lot of gray untextured spots here. So you got here, you got here, you got right here. And if you actually make your way out this way, you can drop down here. That is all gray space, as I will show you guys over here. So right here um, is all gray space. So you can walk down there and walk around the map, but you will get stuck down there, so be careful. But if you make your way over here, you can see more of the little blue texture stuff going on over there. That's really blue, actually. And uh, over there is lava, so be careful if you swim out there. now. We're gonna make our way out here, or we're gonna go jump on top of the rock so we can get around this giant rock out here. And I don't wanna show you guys what's up here on top of here. So let's go fly out this way. All right, we're gonna Grimpatol out this way. I love the outside of this raid so much, but I hate trying to get around in it. <laughs> Because there's so much lava and mountains and things to, like, walk around. It's not the easiest raid to get around on, I'll say that. Alright, we made it over here, so let's go walk up this way. Oh, there we go. We got some yellow spots going on over here. Look at that on the side over here. That's kind of weird looking. Oh, we do got green on this side. Interesting. Interesting. Look at you got some green going down here. And then you got the whole blue. Look at a lot of different colors playing out here. But let's go up here. And I believe there's actually more of the blue on top of the rock out here. And as you guys see, all out here is just lava. It's all lava. All right, we're going to make our way out this way. We're going to jump over here. There we go. And we're going to go make our way up this way. There we go. All right, I'm going to wait a second for my next fell rush charge because I don't want to drop here. I'll probably wait for the second one too. But as you can see, we got more blue textured stuff going on up here. It's very strange. There we go. We made it. So check this out. Up close. You got like random blue going on. And if you make your way out here, you can see kind of in the little cavernous area, which it does drop the blue down there. And you can make your way up this mountain here. Well, let's go jump up here. Ooh. Almost dropped down. Let's go take a look. I can kind of give you guys a better shot of the back side of this map here. Trying not to drop down. And as you can see, it's just all lava and stuff down there. Now, you can walk down here, like I said. This is all great area. And if you guys notice something that's very odd, it's actually on the ground in the gray textured space back here. There are black outlines right here. You can kind of make them out here. You make your, you know, you can kind of see the formation here. It's very odd. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink an inky black potion and the whole map gets a very new aesthetic to it. Watch this. 
Look at that. All the fog kind of disappears. And look at now you can really see it. So you see the ground. All the fog is gone. There's like this blue tips here. And then you got like a black box out here. And then you got like all these lines and markings. Which is very strange. I'm assuming there's stuff to do when the developers are making the map. But this map just gets a whole different vibe now when you're drinking Inky Black Potion. Talk about kind of creepy, huh? Alright guys. We're going to try to go make our way way out there in the distance. As you can kind of tell with my mouse. So let me turn this off. And what's so strange, even the skybox is all different, right? Ugh, it's kind of a trip. It's like a magic thing. Now the problem is, this is all lava. I have to go swim across and get to that island. But if I die, I gotta restart. So, um, I will be right back. Alright guys, we made it back. We are in one of these cool looking pillar things outside the map here. So that, oh, right over there is actually the entrance going to um, Nazoth, if you guys remember. That's the portal that you actually take to it. If you go over here in any sense of the part, you actually will hit death walls. And you might hit death walls out here too. Like I said, I've never actually been out here yet. Uh, so I'm trying to make my way to these islands over here, but you have to traverse a bunch of, bunch of lava here, which really sucks. So you have to like do a jump glide, jump glide, jump glide trick, but it's pretty cool seeing one of these uh, structures out here up close. Now I'm trying to eat some food here because I uh, want to make sure I'm at full max health when traversing the lava because it's not easy to stay above ground. But we're going to keep moving out this way. And we're going to go see what's a death wall and what's not a death wall. But I think the closer we get inside the map again, unfortunately, is going to be the death wall. So... We're going to make our way around this way, if we can. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, that's good so far. We want to get over here if we can. And as you can tell, I don't think there's too much on the islands over there. I think it's just another way of, like, showing off the map with the fake lava and all that that they got going on. So, I think we're not going to... Maybe I'll make my way over there next, but I want to get over here is where I want to get to. And I want to see if we can get around here first. If there is anything over here is the real question. So we're going to wait for our fell rushes to come back again. We're going to make our way over the mountains, as Uncle Rico would say. I told you guys this was a longer video. I do apologize, but it is a, uh, a lot to see. So I hope you guys are enjoying everything that's out here. Now, I'm not going to get up here, or I don't think I can anyways. Yeah, it's too steep, because um, I think that's a death wall over that hill. So we're going to make our way out this way. All right, and we're going to go jump over here. There we go. Look at that. Smooth. Hmm. That was beautiful. All right, let's go come up this way. Wow, this is probably going to be a really cool shot up here. Now, we might die. <laughs> I'm just giving you guys a warning. I don't know. Uh, man, should we try to make it over there? That looks like there would be something cool. Or we can walk up and do the safe way, but... I don't know. I feel like... Ah, we barely made it. Didn't make it. So, barely didn't make it. So, let's just take the fail. And let's go walk out this way. All right, so we're gonna keep making our way out this way. We're kind of playing the floor as lava, huh? The game, we're trying to not touch the lava here as much as possible. All right, I'm glad a lot of this is walkable. That would suck. Just trying to, you know, go along all around the... Now, you can't even see us on the map, but we're somewhere over this way. Or, sorry, over here. Because that was the entrance to um, Nazoth. So we're over here somewhere, but you can't even see us on the map. So we're going to keep walking out this way. 
And we're gonna make our way up here. If we can. This is getting some really steep looking hills here. If we can climb up here, I think we could do it. Shoot, we can. Okay. That's okay. Um, Might need a second game plan here. I don't know what's back here, so... Let's go take a look. Some more lava pockets, okay. Ooh, the game sometimes just bugs out and doesn't let me jump right away, so I'm like... Skipping myself off the ledge there. Ooh, here we go. Alright. We're making our way finally on the backside. I, you know, I have a suspicious feeling that we're going to hit a death wall. Pretty soon. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it. That the game's like, alright, that's enough. You've seen enough. Um, okay, we gotta make our way up this way. If we can. Shoot. I think what we can do is we can use this pocket to our advantage. So what we'll do is uh, we'll jump. Ah, again. Dang it. Okay. Might have to find another way up now. Oh, what about right here? Oh, nice. Okay. Maybe we can use this to our advantage. There we go. All right, so I give you guys a shot of the backside of this mountain here. As you can tell, there's really actually nothing out here. But we're going to keep going up this way. Now there's another one of those structures up there. I think it was like the one, basically the same one we already went on earlier. Now what's over here? I'm very curious. I don't think there's too much. Probably just lava. Yeah, it looks like just lava. I don't want to drop back down if we don't, if we can help it. Ooh. Can we get up here is the question. But we failed. Okay. Oh, we can just walk up. <laughs> okay, we can just walk up. Alright. I didn't realize. Being stupid. So that's where we were earlier, remember? In the beginning of the video and we died. So what's going on over here is the question. There wasn't so much lava and mountains in this map, it'd be a lot easier to uh, look at everything. Here we go, and now we got some cutoff map textures going on over here. We got some wild stuff going on over here. Alright, let's go take a look this way. We're gonna try to avoid that area for now because uh a lot of death walls out there we're gonna make our way up foot up here look at that it's got like a random spiky pole sticking out of the ground here huh well can we walk up this looks like it's pretty flat enough oh we can okay Does it show us on the map yet? It does not. Okay. Alright, I wanted to get over here. I wanted to see what was over here. Ooh. Look at this thing. Just sticking out of the ground here. Like a unicorn head. <laughs> it's kind of a random. And let's check the backside over here. We do got some grayscale going on here. I 
All right, let's start swimming back this way. Let's see how far we can get on the inside, because I think we've basically done a full circle here. Yeah, we've definitely done like a big circle here. So let's go fly back in this way. Let's go take a look at some of the scenery back here. This is where I've been wanting to get to. Look at that. Oh! There goes the... Entrance to... So it's actually right over here. Very interesting. Does the portal work is the question. So, okay. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. So the portal's right here in the Zoth. But since we haven't unlocked it yet, it actually isn't technically loaded in. So we can actually go through this portal and get to the Zoth, I'm assuming. Let's go... There's only one way to find out, right? Let's go try. Moment of truth, my friends. Oh, it doesn't work yet. Interesting. Okay, so this is where the portal lives, though. So if you want to get to Nazoth, this is where the portal lives before it's actually placed uh, right over here. So as you can tell, this is where we're at on the map. This is where the Nazoth portal gets placed after you unlock it. So very, very interesting. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, I've never seen the backside over here, so that's where the portal is. But you, if you, you go through it, nothing actually happens, unfortunately. So. Now, what we need to do is we need to find the actual staging area for the Nazoth battle. Wow, this is awesome. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Um, I'm going to go do the final part of this video. I thank you for sticking with me, and then we'll end off here. All right, everybody, we are officially back for the last part of this video. I just want to say thank you so much for those of you that have stuck around to the very end. I know it's been a long video to watch, but I just want to say thank you to those who have stuck around and have been enjoying it. Um, I want to come back here because I wanted to restart the video here. I mean, not restart the video, but show you my path that I'm taking so that you can go do this yourself if you want to experience this. Um, to leave off on the final part of this video, we're going to make our way back around the mountains here. And what we're going to go do is we're going to go jump around this lava lake going on here. So we're going to make our way up this way. Come around here and we're just gonna fly down here now we're gonna go back to the beginning room that you actually start the raid in when meeting raytheon um in the first room and he gets corrupted and you kill him as a dragon uh you remember in that room and if you actually you actually see uh the world of azeroth behind it opening the portal from the nizoth vision um so we're going to go back to that room and I'm going to show you how to get back there. It's a little bit of a fly, but it's really neat to see. So you just want to make your way over this way. Come out this way. And you want to get on top of here. And then get on top of here. And then fly over here. And then we're going to let our second foul rush recharge. But anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you so much. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. That is incredible. Um, to end this video, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the atmosphere and just the ambience of this place. So I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit. 
there we go and uh, i just want to say thank you guys all for watching the nyalotha the walking city uh the out of bounds this has been a lot of fun to show off this place is massive i definitely encourage you to come out here and check this place out but to end the video we're gonna go fly into the abyss here i'm gonna show you how to get to that room hopefully we make it sometimes i haven't made it <laughs> but i know kind of where to go so I'm praying that we do make it and that I can show you guys that room again. So I just want to say thank you. I'm going to turn off my mic as we glide over there. Once we get over there, I'll turn it back on and I will end the video there. So enjoy. Well, everyone, we made it. Uh, again, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who have watched this video. It means so much to me. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Night Loath of the Walking City. If you're also curious if this portal works. It does not, and it gets deactivated. <laughs> so, by the way, if you guys come down here in this room, you will get stuck in here. So you do need to either hearth out or find another way out. But anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you. As always, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on the next video. Take care.